Xbox. <laughs> this is me talking to the camera. Macintosh. Blender. Well, I don't know you guys. Ian, Ian, Ian Glenda Macintosh. The original is Michael, Michael. or is Michael? Yeah. <laughs> well, it's Matthew, Andre, guys, Adam joining me for the first time in the corner over there. David in the back here. And myself and Carolina Bishno and Carolina. Why is that boy? That's talking. That's talking like it's more a question in hope rather than uh, to really to find out there. Boy, I had a thing, boy. I need your help. <laughs> it's not that. It's not that. It's just the look, you know? It's just the look. You look, look, man look like a lawyer. Hey, I just run from there, you know? <laughs> you see that, huh? Oh, yeah. Boy, I remember you say, but what you get yourself into? A man done started the picture, say? Oh, because you gave me this. Folks, I think all they can see with this action camera, but that's a nice part, you know? This is a, a quarter to, to seven stars here. Michael, you should be road pass, but. Yeah, I drive, I drive in, you know, I say I go drive in and um. No, first to begin to tell you, go ahead, because they were way behind. Michael went on. And when he came up behind us, well, let me tell you what Wolka can do. Folks, folks, this is Kumaka Road, eh? And a man with an Olka overtake everybody and reach the point first. That's what just went down here. That's the inside, you. All you wicked, you know, boy. You know, if Tony was here, he'd have say, Yeah, he want to carry car and park it by way. <laughs> well, I don't see we get a substitute already for Tony right over there. I want to say if he could park his car by Lester, he drive up there. <laughs> yes, the little dog wanted. It came out in Blanchichers. <laughs> No, because that dog does follow people. Yeah, let's have to hold that dog. Because how many coats can you move? That's what I say. Can you ask about it? I don't know why I saw it in Blanchichers. That poor little dog must be. But you know how to go up there? I don't know. Yeah, but just imagine. But he doesn't go with anybody, you know. <laughs> that dog knows that trail better than all of you, boy. When you go, they follow him. If anybody knew the area, if all they see our dog follow it, they'll carry it straight by left. Good navigator. So folks, we start in the Torre hike. We are nowhere Michael already carried me, but he said easy. But he's a fella that's walked the whole train, lad, so easy is a kinda of relative to Ali laughing in the back of the oh boy. She's laughing, that's a sign, you know. Let's check the interior. We might get to see Machu climbing rocks today, boy. What's it? Anticipation, you know, Machu, it, it, it don't have a rock that Machu I see that you don't want to climb, maybe be careful, eh? I noticed that when I went manual, it was easy to walk up the thing. It didn't look, it didn't look, it looks slippery, but when you're it's gripping, yeah, it's gripping. Well, anyway, he brought his rope and thing too, you know. But he bring rope and thing, you know. Yeah, I'm already up in the van, oh lord. When you reach there and you want to climb, you can say, boy, oh, I should have been the rope, you know. Okay, let's take it down, Mike. I'm going to ask them to borrow it, take my little time. Where's that? Let's see. Oh, this is a, 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 a bor <laughs> they call it a borrowing bor <laughs> snake. You probably have a scientific name, eh? They tend to live yes, almost in one location for quite some time. Well, let's record it, yeah, How big right? is this guy, right? Just about the size. First of all, that was running away from us and he had to go in the corner to pick up that. Just, right, just, so, folks, just so folks will know, them things that run from here, at least that particular one, right? 
again, that was more the educational part of the talk. And my partner in the yellow just remind me your name again. Macintosh is the man who cited. Poor thing was trying to get out the way fast, you know. It was really high tail in it there, but. See how what? See? I want to say only bad man they playing when they see a cockroach. Watch this one running there. We don't know what he up to. He went and take a picture or something. Poor fella to run to take a photo, you see? No, they just make me do that, you know. And then when I run, they just run behind me. I say, so I can't pass here. How about getting the picture? Oh, that's bad. Hey. Michael, ask Sam, Andre, why is that he wearing there on his legs? Where is that? Like for fly off? He says, oh, horse fly. <laughs> Boy, he's spooking the hole. I ain't know what to tell you, huh? We would have passed that small one straight. This thing was running away in this inside the grass. Folks, that's the start of the hike. Not, not that area carrying it by the river. This is the flat section we were telling Carolina about. Wait, that, that carrying you away? Did you see Hollis? Which one carrying you, Hollis? If we keep walking up the road. Alright. Well, with my column, four by four vehicle, you can make it there in no time. Because I know he was behind all of them. And I see him pull up in front, so me saying that he was waiting by the corner, but we end up, he was able to find the road easy. Man. Folks, if you want to find Kumaka Road, it really is fast from the Valencia Junction. Let's take your time and drive slow because you go pass it. It don't have a sign, but it have a big Echo Resort sign. So you could use that. Yeah. Alright folks, this could only be described as we go in the jungle. I see a Michael carrying wheel. Behind me is a scared looking Carolina and David. They don't get spooked already. But all you die is Michael, that's how he is, you know. He's one of the teacher. But you say he had real questions, be staying quiet. One man asks to touch it, is he? Hey, Matthew, you have some characters out here, you know. A river here looking so bad. So this is the flat trail, Matthew. Let me let me touch now. Andre spook the whole school now. example of the flat trail they tell us about. Yeah? We measure in. Thank you, brother. Tell she I'm at flat, but I don't know why I'm blowing. I'm blowing because, you know, the air thin. I can't hear you, brother. You see any here, right? Yeah. Again, both ways. 
But don't worry, all of them do hike at all and take it. So the whole talk, you know. So the whole talk, me and my partner blowing, coming up and we tell them it's flat. Uh, well, boy, I start measuring later. I'll take it when I come back. I, I have 1.4, a man send me. 1.4 from the start of the trail. Eh? That is a half hour, 40 minute walk here you know, for most people. Folks, um, the people at the back, they say in Carolina, Bano is Andrea and them, asking me if this flat. But they're using other people's knee. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Alright folks, just under half a mile in 15 minutes. I think Michael tell me this is the third river crossing. Yeah, yeah, this is the third one. There's a group coming out in the back there. Eh? And I think he said we had to walk up this one. He didn't say we was coming in a river walk. Michael, that is not a trail. That is not a trail behind you, right? Okay, okay. According to Michael, don't use that trail. Oh, I said going, going further. so much for ankle height Alright, so for those of us coming, what's supposed to be an easy trail, it, it is easy, but it's technical. Matthew showing you how to navigate it. You're going through some rocks in the river. As he grew back there. David, Andre, Carolina, our new friend, the lady. Forgive her for forgetting the name. And the new entry, Adam. And let me tell you that. That's Mike leading the group in front there with Macintosh. And that is Machu waiting to pounce on any rock climbing he sees. I was here. Alright. <laughs> that is me trying to get shots, boy. Sorry about that. Wait! This is not a whole camera section. Okay, apparently it is. Folks, there's not really a whole camera section there, but then fella just go on and leave man and say, yeah, bitch, go on, lock camera. Yeah. 
<laughs> a man only say wonderful because I had the camera on, eh? Well done, my dear. Adam, why you take your time? Eh? You're, you're getting through. Eyes on the ground. It's slippery at point. This is Carolina, folks. Stick hand, everything. She air dropping. The folks in that river crossing, what Michael just tell me is most of these stones is limestone coating. You can take this track and you can go there a plane crash wheel. We, yeah, we can take that track there? Yeah. It may not be clear all the way though. Or you can cross over and go back to the front of the Hollis Dam. Okay. And we just came from that way, folks. <laughs> I had to put my finger. And we're going this way. So let me see if I get this straight. I'll let everybody go. We just came from the alley. Start going to some plane crash site or something. We're going this way. And you're not going back that way, that don't stream. That's probably where you came from. So this is the uh, this is the trail we took. And as the man said, it's coated with limestone, you right? Limestone a good grip. That is clear water, boy. When the water level high, Michael. Okay, so that's like a big, wide waterfall. Yes. But the water is low in the So, so you're praying for rain. <laughs> Probably not the right thing. Yeah, not not at this specific moment. So we gotta go up the side there, Mike. Folks are for one walk in three quarter mile, watch behind. According to Michael, is a nice what? Jacuzzi? Man says it's a nice jacuzzi to jump in. Carolina, yeah. so, look like she's going in your mouth hole for you. You're going in the water? Use the waterfall? Andre, you want you want to come up with the rope? Andre, he said come up in the dark in the dark spot. That yeah, that side is slippery. If you go on that side, it's much better. I don't want to skip over and hook it. Alright, pull it on that side here. Folks, look at this. What a step. We are reach where we go into the main one, but check out the teeth.
Carolina coming up your rope. Carolina, stay on the dark spot. Dark spot. Dark spot has grip. And this is the team posing. That's Carolina coming up in the back there. Carolina, how it going so far, girl? Very good, working on the flat. Okay. <laughs> Carl, you're not going to let go that one. Folks, check this out. Folks, they're laughing at me trying to balance with that camera. Folks, less than a mile, 35 minutes. It really is a short, beautiful hike. Pass on the side. Eh? Just have a step cautious. If you want more excitement, you can go on the side. Still under a mile, 40 minutes in, we reach the main falls behind me. Probably that day. But the team moving ahead, we're going ahead with the extra part of the hike. When you come back, we obeyed here. They say when you start bathing, that'll be the end of the hike, so we're afraid to stop. Watch your boys do the ballerina special.
Just in case, just in case, yeah. Oh, we're going so far, David. Very good. Manageable, right? Very scenic views. Scenic views, it's not, it not really flat as we thought. It's there some up and down, but we can manage the up and down, right, Carolina? <laughs> that is Andre going in the pharmacy to get something. That is Matthew going ahead because Matthew just, just go ahead. Is he with me for now? Go ahead. Yeah, that is uh, my boy helping. Look at our lovely view for you. Hola for Michael. Eh? Yeah. The folks that is the group just come up the the falls that most people just go to, but we going further. That way. We're going and explore more. Past the one mile mark. <laughs> Don't forget that. A man in the back say, Michael, 20 minutes is an hour. Don't forget that. Hey, Michael, how far again, boy? <laughs> Why are you wicked, so boy? Well, you nothing to do, you know, right? Well, you harassed anyone. I don't know it's going so far, boy. Don't mind, don't mind me, eh? even if I'm falling down, you're still talking and into the camera. Eh? Yeah. You might have to face up if, the, if I'm on the floor and the camera pointing up. Boy, as you see them thing is, these shippers. Eh? So Adam, you have your, your life, eh? every day. Yeah. I have mine too, eh? by the way. <laughs> Man say, yeah, be first aid kit just in case. So he's a Andre back to back. Andre running a pharmacy in the back there, he might be able to replenish the kit later. They say it's flatter, eh? but you know, flat is a relative term in life. Eh? I'm going to go home and go reflect on it. Yeah, folks, this is a minor incline. An undulation in the earth. An undulation in the earth, yes. All right, David, hold on. David, hold on. Help. She, is she on behind you? Please. She good? Well, look at the size of this stick, this lady. All right. She good. Okay. Wait a minute. They may disappear on the way where I'm going. Man.
folks one and a half miles in. It's an hour and a half. It's mostly rock climbing. That's the team at the top of the arm. Pretty much to the end of where we can go. We are David in the water. Andre, Carolina. Adam, make it all the way to the top, yes? I'm a partner right here. Yeah. Ian, just relaxing. Yeah. Man say he waiting for KFC. A lady asks how we going back. If we going back, they say, man, man say we taking a taxi up the road. I like that answer, but you wicked, Ian boy. That's the head of the team heading back down. Folks, Carolina and David on the way back. They decided to go in the deep pool. That was the shortest way. <laughs> it was the shortest way around. All right, folks. So we are about three miles into the hike, uh, maybe a couple of hours. We went all the way up and we come back down to the main pool to be. I see a group in the back there. That is Michael in the back there saying it nice. That is the view of the, uh, the main water step behind them. And this is, this is how not to behave when you come in cold water. That is, that is with good partner Ian over there. Ian! Next time, Michael, making it look easy, eh? As soon as the camera turns, oh Lord, man, I too cool. <laughs> Macintosh, they like, all right. I ready to get out of this? Only I'm in cold water. <laughs> Adam, Adam, like, all right, boy, I know where I'm in carry me today, boy. Like Andre, come in there, man. He's the original Bushman, eh? He just take pride in looking like one, and he succeeded. Oh, we have Carolina and David coming up. That is Carolina coming across there. She no longer vexed about this not being a flat height. Or is she still vexed? Only time will tell. That is David. David better already, you know, he said he never told you. Matu, I have a So that is Carolina, Ian and David over there. As the boy Mark, Adam in the water right through, boy. That man is taking it cold. Two men give up over there. And Miguel ready to go. She ready to go. I thought that was a rock. Yeah, yeah. Carolina, interview everybody, go on the water, do your thing. Waterfall. Hey, where are you? So where is that a waterfall interview? <laughs> yes, waterfall interview. One of the largest waterfall. The biggest. A waterfall in size of your head, boy. David enjoy himself. The rock climbing was good. Hey, the, the rock climbing was excellent. So you don't leave out the most important so part, the time. Huh? The time, the time. The time is important. Wow. Uh, we reached the highest um, waterfall up there. Nice. Yeah. It was huge. It was nice. The experience was very good. Hey, it's Carolina. Hey, it's Carolina. Hey, it's Carolina. Hey, it's Carolina. Hey, it's Carolina.
That is the sound of the water falling. That is relaxing. As the crew coming out of the water there, eh? everybody ready to go down to the next level there, eh? but most likely we're on the way out. See you all in the next mile. So folks, we are at Toure Water Steps. This is the largest water step. We all know that he's Matthew down there and we know what he attempting to do. And that is um, that is David chain him on. Ha <laughs> ha 
Supports on the way out about 10 a.m. As the boys having some fun in the back. They're swimming in a deep jacuzzi. As we get in bite up with mosquito, that is one thing I go on on. Mosquito from our side. Carolina, come down on the on the brong. On the brong, that's where the grip is. Andre, go in now, man. He said any man who can't swim eh? to go in a deep jacuzzi no pool. <laughs> Carolina, well done. This is the pool for you, Carolina. Watch your step, it's slippery there. Carolina, jump in that pool there. Oh, let's go. Run, jump, and dive. Okay, that qualifies as a mega splash slash belly flap. Belly flap four out of ten. <laughs> Girl, you know what? You feel like I'm getting licks there, though. What he said? It's a slash belly flap. Belly flap. Slash. Slash. <laughs> I didn't say that I'm gonna die. <laughs> it's a job. It's a job. <laughs> Carolina love water. She's staying there whole day you now. All they know what they're doing here you now. And they're causing a whole delay in this whole thing. We can't go home now. Don't what? Say we, say you, say you. Andre, boy. Yeah. Micah, come and pay her. Come and pay her. Water, hard. That's a hard thing. You have to try it. Huh? That's why it's still there, it's, it's a hard to be here as well. The folks are halfway back from touring water step. There's your boy Michael in the back there. Oh, Brett for over two minutes under water. There's the crew coming down in the back. We pretty much halfway back out. Then boy Michael. There's your restaurant coming down. What distance is that, Ian? Huh? What distance is that, 45? Yeah. What distance? Um, 
5k? Yes. Excellent, man. Yes. What? You start, you, you had to start somewhere, you know, and that's where you reach. You say you're doing it in 13 hours or something, and you start 45? Well, the least I know is 29 right now. That's it? Well, that is there. <laughs> that is a good pull day. So Ian said he started doing the 5k at 45 minutes, now he, he below 30. Boy, they stop by a Royal Castle, boy Andre. Uh, on the second mile, and that 5k ain't gonna be no scene. Yeah, boy, Tony, boy. Tony, Tory steps, boy. You missing this one. But judging from where you are, I feel we missing out. Which part, which part the Chinese side, Kilo, um, routers? Oh, right, the China tongue sign. Nestle was the same time as the Hikaton? Boy, that was the end of that. After that Hikaton, that was it for me, boy. Folk story water steps. Is um is a short hike, yes. There is some up and down set, don't let nobody tell you it's flat. Um by technical with rocks, slippery um stones there is some climbing. And then coming back down climbing up them steps is not for beginners. So that is the team in the back talking about training for 5k. I hear in Nestle. I hear in Chinese. I told them it have a half marathon coming up in August. What we call that um Michael? Peacefully? Peace Lily. Peace Lily. Yeah. That's a nice. Pip, 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 pip. <laughs> and I sent in it. Smell it. Yeah, but... Yeah. Hold on, eh? Try it. Yeah. Yeah, hey, guys, I want to smell that and tell me what that scent remind you of. What Tony told us. Nice, Yeah. Try it, eh, guys? Isn't that the same scent that your boy tell we represent something? <laughs> yeah, no joke. Is that kind of a slight ammonia scent again? Yeah? Yes, yes, wow. Yeah. Like, like Peace Lily. Matthew, you smell this. This is what um, we just be smelling, and your boy tell we is something else, eh? <laughs> Peace Lily. Is that kind of ammonia scent, eh? That's where it grew. Take a scent of that, peace lily. Pass it on to the folks in the back. Carolina and David, tell me what that scent reminds you of. According to what Tony told us. Apparently we've been smelling a flower all this time. Peace lily, let's... Let David smell it. He cut it from right there. Those plants. Wow. 
Yes, we believe you now, Carolina. We believe you, but now what you say? Anyway, that's for you. That's your piece, Lily. I cut that for you. you didn't cut it. Yes, I cut that for you. you. Didn't cut it. Folks, it's a lot of walking and um, stuff like this. And you're just trying not to fall. For Ture, what I recommend is when you're going up the limestone, there are sections that really, really grip and sections that are real slippery. So you put your foot and you feel, you feel. And usually the dark sections that grip and the mossy sections are grey. But put your foot and feel, feel, feel. Yeah, boy. I get you. Yep. Michael, bring you on a mosquito too. Yeah, I'm going to bring you on a mosquito bite too. Surprise. What are you blaming for Michael for, boy? I'm going to bring you on a mosquito bite too. What did you do? Well, boy, you walking under the arch. That is good luck. Everybody go on faith. Every man, Jack. Watch, 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 hey, all is no superstition here at all, eh? Should we go into a tree in the back? Waiting on you. Log here, waiting on you. Tori, what a step trail, Tori. Somebody put a log for you, boy. Andre, go in and show you how to cross it. <laughs> Looking at somebody mushrooms on that log. Tony, guess what I passed and I get? What is that behind? Folks, we have one another river crossing and Michael looking to catch something. We are on the way out of the two river waterfall. <laughs> Hey Andre, you walk. Oh, Macintosh, how you to spot these things? You spot the first one that nobody could spot.
Going back. Going back to the side. Yes. Alright, on the way out of Torrey Falls, folks. Macintosh Arm is the, is the finder. And Michael is the catcher. Seeker and a catcher, catcher here. Yeah. I think it's some type of Harry Potter thing going on. Well, they want to hold on for them here. Yeah. How's the crew coming there? One man, hey, you see that plant boy? That plant is follow a chain up fellas. It's for, it's for a lady and a man was carrying it and a next man get told from the fella that he'll get one of the plants if you bring it. But if you see how that chain up went on in the back there. Oh, you could get one. No, it's the same plant. It's a chain up to bring it. Who totin' it? Oh. Uh, you see, you see who totin' it now? I was waiting till we reach lower down to get I was, I was going to ask you if I could get one, but I think we could get lower down. Yeah, we can get lower down. But my couple. Ah, yeah, David boy, David I'm sorry to tell you boy, but anyway They say you can get by the start of the trail David, but keep toting eh, boy You don't study nobody eh? You done toting already and that is where we is you, you went through all kind of hazards and all kind of thing, nah That tree, that tree bring your rail luck Keep it But it miss all our oil here. That the, the tree bring you luck. It miss every man jack clean and stuff. All the time people moving slow, slow, slow in the height. All of a sudden man start to move faster, yes, I had to get out of the way. And check that waterfall over there. Look, the crew coming in, Andre Leiden. Andre Leiden a peace lily um, hike. And he pointing for me to watch at the um, waterfall. Hey. This for Carolina, or that is for you? Alright. Andre, you have a good day here. Don't take all your day there. Give it, give it, give it. This is all one for me. Alright. Folks, I get a peace lily. You take it Nice one. I have a feeling I get you up and I carry this for somebody here, yeah, but I you know. Carly, that looking um, really perplexed that hole in this for me. Oh my goodness. Two ladies with their with the peace lilies, yes? All again is an ice. Eh? Folks, we're on the way out of the Torre hike. As a team in the back here. Get it, get it. Yeah. As the squad, I see we have our next team waiting to go in. So we just came out of the trail and we onto the main road area. And there's another group waiting to go in. Look at that view, folks. This is the interior of Trinidad. Kumaka. Good day, good day, everybody. Good day. So we're back onto the road. Just over a mile and a half. All right. See a four wheeler going in. That's the crew in the back there, folks. Here's Michael with the plant. Where's Carolina going? Move with them. What's your name? You want to talk about? Yeah, we're going to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. What are them two plants like this doing in the back there? They want to go back by you, man. I think they want to go and just say Guanapo is way up the road. Ah, it's too much. It's all looking nice and clear down there, boy. Same river, eh? So we're back on the road there. 
Watch that interior, folks. They will have to come and come up there and fight you. And inject the venom, but that is a neurotoxin venom. Toxic venom, that will trouble, that will affect the nerve. And in no time, it literally paralyzes you. So that becomes the real hazard of safety. They don't have it, they don't get it, they don't have antibiotics for us. But you have them for us. They have plenty, yet that you don't see them. And it's hardly like they will get the super money. No, when you did the rich, you try it. Check out that view in the back. As the whole crew spread out on the road back to the start to finish. About two miles coming back, two miles going in. The actual Torre Fall is halfway. We went further and do a lot of climbing and so on and so forth as, as you saw. But basically we back before midday. That's Macintosh. We have any hand there. He's the only man to climb. That's your boy Michael. This is Michael Guards here. See them? <laughs> hey Michael, them is your guard. That's the guards, yes. You see them walking in here to get a customer. That's Matthew, David. Everybody come back with their um, peace lily plant, boy, Andre. Carolina, which is peace, peace lily plant. I give away my they gave away yours or, you, or it was confiscated. So folks, folks, so until the next hike, this one was a blast. We had plenty climbing and Matthew was in his element. And Carolina didn't want to come out of the water. And Adam, thanks for it. All the best.